Shalom, my brothers and sisters. It's your brother, Wild Israelite, from the tribe of Issachar, from One Nation, One Power, the Church of Christ. Okay. Um, as I began prophesying um, yesterday um, on my last video, okay, um, you know, um, there was a situation that occurred where I was speaking about, you know, all the wickedness, okay, all the wicked coming soon are, are going to be in big, big trouble if they don't repent, okay? That these people, if they don't repent, they're going to go to hell, okay? Um, but anyways, guys, I'm letting you know right now, okay? I'm letting you know right now. Matthew chapter 24, okay? Matthew chapter 24. Let's go and read it real quick. Okay. Matthew chapter 24 real quick. Bear with me my brothers and sisters. Because I am inside my vehicle right now at the moment. Um, but. Check this, check this out. Okay. Matthew chapter 24. This is the generation. Okay. With the two sticks coming together, my brothers and sisters, okay? And with the fullness of the gospel being preached, okay? I'm telling you right now, okay? With, with the fullness of the gospel being preached, and ever since we bring out these two sticks, notice how a lot more things have been winding a lot faster than they have been usually, okay? Every day, You've been waking up and finding out that something's going on in the news. Every day you are, uh, are are noticing something different, right? I'm telling you right now, my brothers and sisters, you better prepare right now, okay? I am a walking testimony right now, and I'm telling you right now. Let's read this in Matthew chapter 24 real quick, and I'm going to tell you right now, okay? Matthew chapter 24, okay, verse 6, and it says, and ye shall be hated, and ye, uh, it, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Okay? But the end is not yet. Verse 7 says, For nations shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines. Okay? There shall be famines. What are the locusts doing over there in the Middle East right now? Huh? What are the locusts doing over there in the Middle East? They're eating up all the, the vegetation, right? They're making their way up around the Middle East. Okay? And it says, and pestilences. Okay? And pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Okay? As you guys already seen, the earthquake that just hit Utah the other day was a 5.7. Okay? It was a 5.7. I sense that there is another earthquake approaching here, here suddenly. Okay? I was, was going to put this video out. You know, I was going to speak about earthquakes a little while ago. But I didn't do it. Now... With me being booted out, I'm now doing this message for you guys, okay? I am now doing this message for you guys because I'm telling you guys right now, okay? I'm telling you guys right now, okay? It says, and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Let's continue reading because this is coming to you very suddenly, okay? These are the beginning of sorrows. Okay? These are the beginning of sorrows. Okay, let's look at verse 9. It says, Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Okay? And they shall kill you. And you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then many shall be offended and shall betray one another and hate one another. 
brothers, my brothers and sisters, you're we're at that time right now where our people that we once knew, they don't know us no more. Okay, they do not know us no more. My family, Matthew chapter twelve, verse fifty. My family are those that do the will of the Father which are in heaven. Okay, that was, that's my family right there. Okay, you guys are my family. Those that do the will of the Father, you guys are my family. Those that have been baptized and, and, and from the sins of, of, of their selves and the sins of their forefathers, y'all my family. Those that keep the law, statutes, and commandments, y'all my family. My one nation, one power, brothers and sisters, y'all my family. Okay? You guys are my family. But I'm telling you guys right now, you better get prepared right this minute because you are about to be booted out the same way I did. Okay? This is where your faith is going to come in handy. Okay? Have faith like Abraham. Abraham, A. Hey, he didn't know where he was going to go next. He did not know where he was going to go next. Okay? So let's keep let's keep reading real quick. There's another scripture I want to get out. Okay? It's in um Doctrines and Covenants. Okay? Let's go to um 45 real fast. Let's go to Doctrines and Covenants 45. And let's yeah, let's go to 45 real quick. And um, we'll go up at verse. Um, there's a, there's precepts I want to uh, link up with you guys, okay? So this is what I want to show you guys. Okay, I know Elder I will bring this out, but you know, you know, the majority of, more of us are going to keep bringing it out as well, okay? Alright, my light just cut off real quick. Alright, and it says, um, Doctrines and Covenants 45. Okay. And we'll start off at verse, um, we'll start off at verse uh, 16, okay. Doctrines and Covenants verse 16, and it says, And I will show you it plainly, Okay, as I showed unto my disciples, as I stood before them in the flesh and spake unto them, saying, As you have asked of me concerning the signs of my coming in the day when I shall come in my glory in the clouds of heaven to fulfill the promises that I have made to your fathers. For as you have looked upon the long absence of your spirits from your bodies to be in bondage, I will show you again how the day of redemption shall come and also the restoration of the scattered Israel. Okay? We are scattered right now, my brothers and sisters. Okay? I'm scattered. There is not nobody else within, I would say, uh, within 50 miles that I know of that's, that's reading the Book of Mormon and the King James Version Bible and that's an Israelite right now. I don't know nobody within 50 miles right now, okay? I have a brother that's down over there in uh, Colorado at the moment, you know? He's on the same level. He just got baptized the other day, okay? But I'm just saying, you know, you know, be prepared to be booted out. And it says, um, in verse 18, it says, And now ye behold, this temple which is in Jerusalem, which ye call the house of God, and your enemies Say that this house shall never fall. But verily I say unto you, that this desolation shall come upon this generation. What? This desolation shall come upon this generation. This is the generation that the Most High was speaking to us. Okay? This is the generation. You are not going to pass to another type of situation to where you're going to keep saying, and you know, um, a lot of the Gentiles, you know, they've been saying, that, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, since we've been in church, you know, we've been hearing the wars and rumors of wars. You know, we've been seeing the pestilences. Yeah, but these two sticks were not together at the moment. Now, were they? Now, the two sticks are together. Now, you are seeing everything being fulfilled. 
Let's continue. And it says, But verily I say unto you, that desolation shall come upon this generation as a thief in the night, and this people shall be destroyed. What? These people shall be destroyed and scattered among all nations. And this temple which ye now see shall be thrown down, that there shall not be left one stone upon another. And it shall come to pass that this generation of Jews shall not, shall not pass away until every desolation which I have told you concerning them shall come to pass. Say, ye say, that ye know that the end of the world cometh. Ye also, that ye have known that the heavens and the earth shall pass away. For this is, I say truly, for, for so it is yes, but these things which I have, told you, you should not pass away until all be fulfilled. Okay, let's continue verse 24. And this I told you concerning Jerusalem, that when that day shall come, shall a remnant be scattered among all nations, but they shall be gathered again, but shall remain un until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And at that day shall be heard of wars and rumors of wars, and the whole earth, what? The whole earth shall be in commotion. Okay? Let's read it to you guys one more time. And it says, Where are we at? Verse 26. And in that day shall be heard of wars and rumors of wars, and the whole earth shall be in commotion, and men's heart uh, shall fail, fail them, and they shall say in the Christ that layeth his coming to the end of the earth. That's what's going on right now, my brothers and sisters. The Christianity churches have shut their doors. The Pope went MIA. Okay? A lot of these people in these churches are going to lose their faith. Because they can't go to church no more and, and they're being sheltered in place at the moment. Okay, let's continue. It says, uh, verse 28, and it says, uh, uh, let's go to uh, verse 27. It's like, and the love of men shall wax cold and the iniquity shall abound. I am seeing the love of iniquity abound so much right now, my brothers and sisters. You've been telling your, your family members, you know, you need to repent, you repent, you repent. You know, the sins are going to weigh them down. Okay, the sins are going to weigh them down. Okay. Uh, verse 28, it says, And when the times of the Gentiles is come in, and a light shall break forth among them that sit in darkness, and it shall be the fullness of my gospel, but they receive it not for for they perceive not the light. They turn their hearts from men, from, from me. They turn their hearts from me because of the precepts of men, my brothers and sisters. A lot of our people, they stuck on that precepts of men. They don't have the humbleness to um, let the Holy Spirit come through. They don't have the, the courage and the humbleness to walk up to that gate of repentance and water baptism. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, verse 30. And it says. And that generation shall be the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. And there shall be men standing in that generation. That shall not come to pass. And they shall see an overflowing scourge. For a desolation sickness shall cover the land. What are you noticing right now with this coronavirus? It has covered the whole earth. My brothers and sisters, you know, they did that Ebola virus. It only got to a certain part. This coronavirus has gotten to the whole entire earth. Okay? This is what it's speaking about right here. And there shall be men standing in generation and not shall the pen pass. Okay? Until they... They see, they shall see the overflowing scourge for a desolation sickness shall cover the land. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. All 
All right, there's another one. Let's keep going in verse 32. Okay, let's go to verse 32. But it says, But my disciples shall stand in holy places and shall not be moved, but among the wicked men. What? The wicked what? The wicked men and the wicked women. Okay? Shall lift up their voices and curse God. They're going to curse God. Those wicked people out there, they're going to curse God. And guess what happens? They're going to die. Okay? They're going to die. So check this one out. Verse 33, and it says, And there shall be earthquakes also in diverse places, and many desolations. Yet men will harden their hearts against me, and they will take up the sword. What? They will take up the sword one against another, and they will kill one another. Earthquakes, earthquakes, earthquakes. Thus said the Most High, earthquakes are coming more and more. One's coming to the New Madrid fault line. One is coming to the New Madrid fault line. What happens after that? Civil war. <coughs> okay. Verse 34, and it says, Now when I, the Lord, had spoken these words unto my disciples, they were troubled. And I said unto them, Be not troubled. When everything that's going on right now, my brothers and sisters, don't be troubled. Have faith. Have faith, my brothers and sisters. Have faith. Okay? As I'm reading this, as I'm speaking this right now, my body is getting the chills. My body is getting the chills right now. Okay? My body is getting the chills right now, my brothers and sisters. The Holy Spirit. Okay? Um, it says in verse 35, we're in Doctrines and Covenants, verse uh, chapter 45 and verse 35. And it says, I said unto them, Be not troubled, for all these things shall come to pass. You not be the prompt. Be that the promises which I have been made until you shall be fulfilled. Okay? And when the light shall be begin to break forth, it shall be with them like unto a parable which I will show you. Okay? Ye look and behold the fig tree, and ye see them with your eyes. And ye say when they begin to shoot forth, their leaves are yet tender, that summer is now nigh at hand even so shall the, that that day when they shall see these things when they shall know that the hour is nigh my brothers and sisters it's time if you are living with family members and they want to stay in the world but you have that spirit to serve the most high and you want to be a servant you about to get booted out. Okay? You are about to get booted out. You better have a plan. Okay? You better have a plan. Take your take all the records that you've been saving up. Take everything that you need. Like I said, my brothers and sisters, you need to be pilgrims upon this earth. Okay? Pilgrims. Let's go to the second Ezra, okay? Second Ezra chapter nine. Second Ezra chapter nine. Second Ezra chapter nine. Okay. Let's go to Second Ezra chapter nine. <coughs> this is how we precept the the um, the puzzle pieces together. Okay. Second Ezra chapter 9. Second Ezra chapter 9. And look at verse 1. And it says. He answered me then. And, and said. Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And that when thou see the, seest part of the signs past. What? The sign, see. When thou seest parts of the signs past. Which I have told you. Which I have told thee before. Thou. 
then thou shalt understand that this is the, the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when thou shalt be seen, earthquakes, what? Earthquakes. Earthquakes are coming. Earthquakes are coming. I can sense one coming right now. Okay. When there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people of the world. Okay. What's going on right now? People are being disobedient, you know, not doing that uh that situation with the six feet and all that. Okay. There are people going locked up in jail in Idaho and all this. Okay. FEMA camps, uh, you know, being set up over there in Tennessee, gener generators being sent over there. Okay, they know something's coming. The wicked uh, kingdom of this earth, they know something's coming. They they already know. Okay, but my people, they don't know because they lack knowledge. That's just why I'm providing it for you guys. I'm warning you. I'm 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 sounding the trumpet right now. Okay, and it says, uh, verse 3, uh, Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 3, it says, When therefore thou shalt see earthquakes and uproars of, of the people in the, of, in the world, then thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of these things from the days that were before thee, even from the, from the beginning, for as that is made in the world, hath in the beginning and in the end. The end is manifested, even so in the times also the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and the endings and the effects and signs. Okay? And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape, what? Shall be able to escape by the works. Okay? Be able to escape by the works. Right? And... And by faith, and by what? And by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the, the, the said pearls, and shall see my salvation in my land. What? The salvation is here in America. Okay? Salvation is here in America. We are to be that light unto you guys. Okay? I love you guys, and um, I'll see you guys here shortly. Please keep me in your prayers because, you know, <coughs> I'm not sure where my faith is going to lead me right now at this moment. But right now, um, you know, it looks like I'm going to stay the night in uh, my vehicle and not on a comfy pillow or a bed. Okay. Um, my brothers and sisters, please pray for me. Please. But also prepare yourselves because it's coming very soon. Because this is the same situation that's going to happen to you. If you are with those that are of the world, they're going to boot you out. They're going to boot you out. Don't let, don't let your sins weigh you down, my brothers and sisters. Don't do it. Start praying, fasting, all that stuff right now. Okay? Dinner was about to be made done. And then I got booted out. So now, I'm telling you, okay, I'm telling you right now, be prepared, okay? I love you guys. Shalom.